Today on the Tapping Show, Bud Light UFC Mantra Tweet gets a TKO. Vivek on Fannie West corruption goes viral. Cisco laying off 5% of their workforce in order to focus on AI. Lucid Motors to lower their prices. And Cheerios and other General Mills products contain a chemical linked to infertility. All of that much more on the Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of Topping Show is proudly sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice today. Gotta say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's a joke. If you're an IT there or a business owner, reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of February. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the business part of the podcast, you have Cisco laying off 5% of their workforce in order to focus more on AI. Now, for consumers who might not work in IT or have barely ever heard of Cisco, they had a couple of products at Walmart throughout the years. So that's how, anecdotally speaking, some of my family members know of the brand. But they're mainly known for their enterprise sales, especially networking. Some debate on if they invented it, but many would argue they perfected it and have well over 50% market share. So if you ever use the internet, probably should thank Cisco because there's a disproportionately high probability that you're using some of their infrastructure. So a lot of the switches, one of my favorite things to do is when I'm, since again, my IT day job, when I'm going on a customer site, I like the I spy, look at the ceiling and what kind of access point is in the ceiling. And most of those wireless access points or WAPs are usually branded with a Cisco logo and they look like a little square. Now, fascinatingly enough, I was surprised that the rap community is very interested in wireless access points as well. I believe it was Cardi B or Nicki Minaj or one of those gals. She made a whole song about, about wireless access points, which I was going to say, to be that enthusiastic about technology, pretty interesting and impressive. I mean, I love technology, but I haven't written any songs about it lately. But nevertheless, now Cisco, in terms of their total employee count, they have quite a few to say the least. And a lot of people debate how much, how many resources do they really need when they have default monopoly on the market. Cisco is brilliant in terms of they basically invented the certification for networking. So if you want to have a certification that says, hey, I can do this type of networking work, well, you're going to take a Cisco university class and get a Cisco certification. And that really laid the groundwork, in my belief, for one of the reasons they're so overwhelmingly popular is because so many tie, people tie their careers and resumes to the Cisco certifications. Now, again, they're laying off 5% of their workforce and that correlates to around 4,000 employees being let go and again, or it looks like specifically it's 4,250 if I don't get really precise. And they note that this will actually cost the company quite a bit to let them go. So they're saying between severance packages and benefits, the short-term cost is going to be, I can't believe this, 800, not thousand dollars, 800 million dollars to let go 4,250 employees, which Next question, what's the average cost? Because it's fourth. And I know public schools, they're at all time low and pretty much every metric. The ACT score is at a 32 year low. And yet teachers union say we need to give them even more money and spend even more on them. But nevertheless, we're going to do a little math here today. So let's see, that's 800,000 or 800 million dollars. That's quite a lot of zeros. Then divide by 4,250 workers. And that will give us the cost per worker on average, which Again, this is doing some actually more value add than some public schools in the United States, believe it or not. Now that equates to $108,235.29 per user. Again, average. That is quite a lot. Now, when asked for comments, the Cisco CEO Chuck Robbins told investors, quote, our innovation sits at the center of an increasingly connected ecosystem and will play a critical role in our customers adopt AI and secure their organizations, unquote. Again, they have about 85,000 workers worldwide and they actually recently decreased their revenue forecast. So they're not thinking it's gonna be a good fiscal year as well. And they also just paid one of the largest tech acquisitions in history when they bought a Splunk out for billions upon billions upon billions of dollars. I believe it's like, what was it 27 billion or $28 billion for one of the largest SIM solutions on the planet. So they definitely need to cut their over costs and they keep shifting more and more into software and AI, which makes sense. No tech company wants to be a hardware company Partially because hardware companies, again, you have to worry about manufacturing, you have to worry about the global economy in terms of what if one country is shut down because of a pandemic and you can't ship certain products. Well, that's going to hurt your fiscal books a lot more than 
for just software up in the cloud. Again, that's Amazon's problem. That's their data centers. That's why everyone uses AWS. And they're building those out quite robustly, usually. So, and it's also traded at a higher multiplier if it's a publicly exchanged company. So every company wants to be a software company, whether they admit it or not. And we see this more and more with tech companies in general. They don't want to be hardware associated. They want to be software associated. So I'm not too surprised that they're having these cuts at Cisco. Now, interestingly enough, I don't think it's going to really hurt their sales too much. Because again, Cisco, like many of these tech companies, has an in a hybrid sales approach. So they have a direct model for some of the largest clients, like Walmart, which, again, spoiler alert, go to Walmart, look up the ceiling, you'll see a wireless access point with a Cisco logo on it because they won that business. Now, that's a direct account. So they sell Cisco so directly to them. But a lot of their sales are indirect, where they use companies such as myself and other managed service providers, where we will buy it from a distributor and we will resell, install, service the product to the end user, mostly businesses. Well, for me, businesses in the greatest country, some debated state in the world, Texas. So I actually don't think this news of the job cuts will hurt their ability to hit their revenue marks for the year, even though they are decreasing their forecasts. I think that's more to do with the economy. Now, it's interesting to see, again, they're pushing more and more to AI. There is an unfathomable amount of value over AI, but there are also at times where Every company says they're starting to do it. And I almost wonder how much of it is going to be like the dot com crash or the dot com bur bubble burst. Because again, a lot of companies doing it. There will be things similar to automotive. There'll be a couple of the big ones that have a majority market share. But mm, when the cards fall, it'll be interesting to see how this ventures for Cisco. They do have a majority market share for networking, trying to get more into AI. I think long term will probably be a good fit for them specifically. It will be interesting to see how the whole industry ventures later on. Thank you everyone again for taking the time to tune in today. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment. Great way to give me some additional feedback. Let me know how I can improve the show. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.